ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Randall and Roof here, Christian, member of the East Columbus Christian Church in Columbus, Indiana, USA. I'm sitting here now in the home office uh, on Tuesday, August the 17th, uh, 2021 AD. Uh, this is uh, going to be a brief overview of the sermon on Sunday, August the 15th, two days ago, 2021 AD. And the title is, Let's Go Folks, Let's Go Forgive. As you can see on the lower left hand side there. Okay, and again, this is just going to be the highlights, the, the uh, bullet points, if you will, uh, for the sermon. Obviously, if you want to see the whole sermon, you can go to youtube.com and go to uh, look up East Columbus Christian Church on the YouTube page. Uh, it's also on Facebook. So if you want to see the whole sermon, uh, by all means, please go to Facebook or YouTube and uh, take the time and do that. But this is just going to be a brief overview. Okay, so this is about if you are the victim of cruelty. Number one, escape a possible. Makes sense, right? Number two, don't retaliate. No revenge. Jesus talked about this time and time again. You know, don't retaliate. Don't take revenge. He said, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Don't retaliate. No revenge. Number three, pray for those who persecute you. Go to God and say, Lord, I'm having trouble. I got this person, this situation, whatever it may be. Just go to the uh, Lord in prayer. Number four, forgive as quickly as possible. Okay? Um, if you can forgive them right now, do it. Don't wait. You know what I'm saying? Um... So as soon as it's possible to do it, do it. Um, you know, um, Jesus said we're not supposed to let the sun go down on our anger. Or, so forgive as quickly as possible. Number five, trust in God's care. Trust in God's love. Even when it seems distant, if, even if you don't feel like you're like God, you feel like God's a million miles away, trust in His care. He's always there. He sent His only Son to die on a cross for your sins. He knows what you're going through. He knew what you were going to be going through before you were even born, before the creation of the universe, He knew. So trust in God's care. He loves you, He wants what's best for you, even when emotionally. Or physically, it, he feel, it feels like he's far away. Trust that he's there and is doing what's best for you in the long run. So again, number one, escape if possible, obviously. Number two, don't retaliate. Don't take revenge. Let God do what God does. Um, number three, pray for those who persecute you. Forgive them as quickly as possible. Instantly, if possible, obviously. Um, and, of course, trust in God's care and God's love. Trust that God is God and God will do what is supposed to be done. Even if it doesn't feel like he's there. Trust in God. So that's the highlights. Until next time. If you are a victim of cruelty, these are the things you should do. I wish you all the best. May you have a good day. God bless. Until next time, I'm Randall Amruth.